Final question then to Tim, simply because you were the last man out in this sequence. Did you feel, certainly by the time of your last visit there, that it really mattered to HMG, picking up on James Point, what we achieved in the southeast of Iraq, or were we simply at that stage desperate to get out? A bit of both really. I'll give you a fudge answer. I think there was a sense of we needed to get because, to use a term that Jonathan Shaw introduced me to, we had become a bit of a self-licking lollipop in a way. We didn't have the resources necessary to project influence. We had become smaller and smaller by being cut down to the fact we were simply sustaining and protecting ourselves and not able to do anything. That point comes back to your question about whether to do things on thin margin. It was time to get out, also, there was the desire to move to Afghanistan to realize that we couldn't run two medium-sized difficult costly operations at the same time. But there's certainly, in terms of our relationship with the US. And I suppose you could look at both Afghanistan and Iraq very much through that lens. There was still a desire that we did it in good order, and I think the work which we were able to do on the FID side and the FGOSA post 2006-2007 shows that there was a legacy that was left, that was built on by people like I forget his first name. Was it Andrew Waring, the guy that came in? Michael Waring. So there was stuff in there that left southern Iraq in a better state than we had found it, in larger measure because we put some of the basics in place to make that happen. So I think it was a balance. Militarily we needed to jet out. We needed to do it in good order because of our relationship with the US, and at the same time to have shown back to the domestic constituency at home that it had been worth it. And that was a very strong theme coming through. Thank you very much.